Minecraft is a sandbox game where players can place and destroy blocks to build, explore and gather resources. Redstone is an item that allows players to create complex circuits such as calculators, computers and even recreating other games within Minecraft. The main component of a redstone circuit is redstone wire. Redstone wire can be either unpowered or powered at one of 15 levels, which drop by a level for each block it travels, making the maximum length of a wire 15 blocks. Other items made with redstone can be added to the circuit to delay or boost the signal, or create more complex logic. For my entry in the 2017 Flashing Light Prize, I wanted to interface an Arduino with Minecraft so I could use a redstone circuit to delay the signal. I decided to use Bucket, an open source plugin API for this. Bucket provides an abstraction for the Minecraft server, which allows developers to make plugins which are compatible with multiple versions of Minecraft. Signs were an easy way to specify inputs and outputs. The first line lets my plugin know to use the sign. The second line sets the direction of the data, which can be their input or output, and the third line sets which port on the Arduino to read or write. Bucket provides a method to get the power level of a block, but like a lot of things in Bucket, it doesn't actually seem to work. So instead, I had to use a method from the underlying server, which limits my plugin to a single version of Minecraft. Setting the redstone power was a bit more difficult. I tried to do it directly, which initially looked promising, but behaved strangely when facing different directions. Fixing this would have been possible, but I'm lazy, so instead, I decided to try and modify blocks which already output redstone power. The comparator seemed the most obvious choice, as it's already used as an output for some blocks. Blocks in Minecraft only have four bits in which they can store data, which allows a total of 16 possible combinations. That's why there are 16 colors of wool, glass and clay, and why redstone has 16 power levels. The comparator uses this data to save its rotation, what mode it's in, and if it's being powered. If the data can't fit within 4 bits, it's saved in an associated entity called a tile entity. The comparator's tile entity stores its output power, which can be modified to set a custom output power. After modifying the tile entity, the comparator still wasn't outputting any power. I realised this was because the comparator's block data was still set to an unpowered state. Setting the comparator to a powered state and triggering a physics update on nearby blocks caused it to output power, but only for a fraction of a second. What was happening is when the comparator received a physics update, it realises it shouldn't be powered and switches off. I can fix this by preventing physics updates on the comparator. This can cause weird issues like floating blocks, but it's a small price to pay for its simplicity. I still needed to communicate with the Arduino. For my previous projects, I've been using RxTX, a serial communications library whose website shows its age better than I can describe. For this project, I decided to switch to JSerialCom, a library that would have saved me a lot of pain if I'd found it a year ago. Each time an input or output changes, I send a byte to or from the Arduino. The pin of the Arduino is sent in the first half of the byte, and the value in the second half. I still needed to write an Arduino sketch to send and receive data from the serial port. The sketch is fairly straightforward. When a byte is received, I use a switch statement to see if the pin supports pulse width modulation. If it does, I can output an analog value. Otherwise, I'll set the pin high if the value is greater than zero, or low if it's zero. I then read the analog inputs and send the value if it's changed. So now it was time to build the world's worst voltmeter. Because there are only 16 possible combinations, I decided to use a simple lookup table to control the screen. Although it worked, I doubt you'll see it in any of my future videos. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already seen it, check out my entry into the 2017 Flashing Light Prize.